action. All right, everybody, we're here with my heroes, Mr. James Liu, Master Benny the Jet Arquides. We're here from inside the dojo. We wanted to thank you guys. And what was your take on the call of action? What do you think it could do for the martial arts? I mean, you know, first of all, because they're young, already feeding the mind. Yes, sir. Hey, what controls the mind controls the body, which now the spirit. You kind of you capture their mind to where they're realizing what they really can do. Yes, sir. That's what I was looking at. There's the green and this, and, and they're hungry for what they're looking for. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. You know what? There's there's a great lesson watching young kids. They have that childlike passion, and as adults, we need to keep that. We need to keep that uncensored, just the thrill of doing the martial arts. So uh, I learned a lesson. Yeah. And, and, it, and if I say one thing to a bunch of kids out there right now, just about you guys, and I I say, and I mean it's from the bottom of my heart. From a kid that's somewhere right now in the ghetto, and knowing that he probably just want to give up because his mom, or his dad, or somebody's not there, but he probably have a book or, or, or seen a v, the movie of you, and he has been inspired. What does such an honor when you know that without even you guys, I wouldn't be the man that I am right now? I mean, how does that make you feel to know that your spirit transcends your physical being somewhere in some hood? or some country right now to produce a kid that just found a way to live from your example. What does that mean to you? You know, basically, I find for myself that with all of my experience, I, I truly feel blessed by it, that I could give to somebody that might take it and do something better than me. I'm counting on that, that they would do something better than I did with it. Because again, it's about passing on information of experience that they would hopefully will have a better understanding on their journey because the power is in the journey not the destiny of what we're doing so that journey to them my journey has been a great journey and through my experience that I pass on nobody can pay for my essence I give my essence to them freely hopefully they'll do something great with it. Thank you, sir that's the beautiful words I always being young, you always think of yourself as a performer, a competitor. And as we get a little more enlightened in our life, now I'm finding myself to think of myself more as a teacher. And that's what a teacher will do, is pass on our wonderful experiences, our, uh, which I have the most. <laughs> profound gratitude for it. It's like, how lucky are we to be doing something we love? So, and I'm, this is about passing on. And I just say thank you. And I, I, I mean, I'm just so grateful. Um, and thank you so much for making me the man I am. Inside the dojo. Thank you. And he's a good man. <laughs>